Hello, hello, hello to all of my wonderful cancers. This is Queen Amura coming to you with a very special reading on today. Now, we know that today is 11-6, right? But I want to combine 11-5 and 11-6 and talk about some numbers with you all before I get into your general reading. So, cancers, we know that 11 is a gateway number, right? That's the universe trying to get some messages through to you. It's the 11th month of the year. Some messages are trying to come through. I hope you all are paying attention to what the universe is trying to tell you right what the universe is saying you know your ruling planet is the moon even though we know that the moon is a luminary nevertheless it is your ruling planet but cancers are duality of feminine your duality is feminine meaning that your your energy is cyclic you all are nurturers you are all magnetic um you you show your strength through your inner reserve right so you don't always say exactly how you feel you need to process some things. Not only that, cancers are sweethearts. Like, really. Cancers are really, really sweethearts. And you all know that you're sweethearts. Um, you all are... Not only are you... Not only do you have gigantic hearts towards people. You all are very empathetic. You give your best. You don't hold your emotions. You're very charming. You're tenacious. You're highly imaginative. You're loyal. You're persuasive. You're emotional. And you're sympathetic. Well, here's what's interesting, Cancer, is that people like to say that cancers are emotional, right? In a good way. Sometimes people try to say you all are emotional in a bad way. But what's interesting is that you all own up to your emotions, right? When other astrological signs, planets go retrograde, <laughs> they just have a hard time trying to manage their emotions, right? But you all have no problem with that, right? You know you can choose to vibrate high or vibrate low. Let's get into your reading. Mm -hmm. Let's get into your reading, Cancer. Let's do it. Most high God in the universe, please give me a special reading for my wonderful Cancers as it relates to all areas of their lives, specifically in areas of emotions and creativity, also in areas of money and wealth, also in areas of spirituality and where they need to take action and also in areas of power and intellect what information do we have from our wonderful cancers yes yeah, so when we talk about the number five cancer while i'm putting the while i'm laying the cards out we know that the number five is it really really whether your life path number is number five or not you can still step into the vibration of a number five number fives represents it being a pivotal point in your life also a new beginning yes a lot of people are hitting that reset button and starting anew, whether it's a new job, new relationship, you know, new whatever, but you're starting anew, leaving the old behind, changing your perspective, well, changing your perspective first, leaving the old behind and starting anew. Yes, 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 and yes. Listen to this. Look at this right here, the world card. You're starting anew without any fear. Mm-hmm. Fear tossed to the side, cancer. I see you. Yep. The world card. Yes. Yes, yes, and Yes. And we have the Empress card. So many gifts to give to the world. Mm -hmm. You all are just out here doing it. I love to see it. Multiple streams of income happening. This is what I'm saying. You all decided to change your perspective. This is the Five of Cups. See how this person looks hopeless? You changed that, pers that perspective around and now you are hopeful. This is how you used to be. Boy, and then you turn it, you turn you um. You tuned into those multiple gifts that you have. Look at these multiple streams of income. This is the Eight of Pentacles. Multiple streams of income. You all are on your grind right now. I'm telling you. Look, life couldn't be better. Perfect synergy. Yes, Cancer. Y'all are out here doing it. Out here doing it. And what's interesting is that your compassion is the thing that's really, really reaching people. Your heart. This Mother Earth energy that you have. You are nurturing a lot of people out here. And people are actually paying you to nurture them. Like, really, they're paying you to nurture them, right? I want you all to make sure that you're nurturing yourselves first so that you always have that that reserve, that um, vibrate your vibrational field is recharged, okay, Cancers? That's what I want to make sure. But a lot of you all are, you know, you have your own business. You are making other money. You are investing. You are doing all kinds of stuff, creating those multiple streams of income. So I'm telling you, wealthy, wealthy, wealthy. Mm-hmm. Yes. Focusing on your, I'm telling you, you all have left some drama behind. You know what? Here's the thing about this card right here. I'm going to pick this up. I want to show you something. This three of swords, right? Looks like a broken heart, right? But when you open it up, you really get to the heart of the matter of some things. You really said, you know what? I need to focus on me. I really need to focus on me. I don't need to focus on people who are not in my frequency, right? Me, myself, and I. Three of Cups, you celebrate. And that's the first 
people that you started to celebrate with, you and the other planetary placements in your body. <laughs> three of y'all, well, you know it's more than three, but you know what I'm saying. Like me, myself, and I, we got together and we started celebrating, right, Cancer? Yes, because you tapped into you tapped into that part of you that calls you to turn this around. See how this person is looking down into this black hole, looking down into the abyss? That's not you anymore. That's how you used to be, uh-huh, but not anymore. Especially when you're in a relationship with a person where things are just off balance. You know, it's just not, it's completely out of balance. You decided to do this. Choose you, right? Whether the person left you or you left them, you decided to hurry up, laser focus. The beautiful thing about being in the company of a person that we're not compatible with is your energies speaking to each other, your spirits speaking to each other. Your flesh may be saying one thing, but your spirit is saying something else. And you're actually benefiting, whether you know it or not, from being in that person's energy space, and they're actually benefiting from being in yours. This is you walking away from the old you into the new you. Go ahead and get it, Cancer. Y'all out here doing it. Yes, loving it. Look at you celebrating. Uh-huh. Celebrating with what seems to be familiar, what seems to be home for you, right? Whether it is actually family members, whether it's good friends, whether it is your tribe, whatever, but you're feeling good about life right now, just really celebrating your life and who who you've chosen, which is you. You've chosen you. Look, some of you were in challenging relationships, right? But it doesn't matter. You were still able to create multiple streams of income, even in that challenging relationship. Walk a tight rope, read a book all these ideas up here and still be free, right? So even if the person left you, you're still thriving. It didn't change who you were in the least bit. So again, number five means pivotal point in your life. It means new beginning. It means um, being connected to a higher conscience. It's consciousness. It's all, it also means, you know, being very bright and alert, somebody who enjoys traveling, art, music, someone who loves change and freedom. The number six represents somebody who's a giver. This is you tapping into your divine masculine energy, Cancer, okay? Because by default, you all are nurturers, you all are receivers, you're very magnetic. This is you giving that same energy to yourself first, right? You all are deeply compassionate, loving, and responsible towards family and friends. You all are natural nurturer, nurturers. You are very supportive. Basically, you all make sure that you um, that you you exude warmth and compassion and wisdom that really, really holds space for other people. Like I said, you all are nurturers, but you're great at tapping into your divine masculine, giving yourselves that. And sometimes, okay, where'd that card go? Sometimes it looks like this. Sometimes this is the thing that kind of sort of sets some things in motion for you. When the relationship is over, you're like, you know what? I'm going to focus on me. I'm going to give myself, I'm going to work on me. I'm going to give myself every single thing that I was given to them, right? And when you start to do that and you start to have this, you know what? Your emotions turn from what people deem as negative emotions to positive emotions. You're not moody anymore. You know, you don't feel negative. You don't feel um, clingy to anybody because you are completely whole. You're just feeling great on the inside. Yes, here's an affirmation for you. I don't know why these cards are trying to stick to me, but here's a positive affirmation for you, Cancers. Um, like I said, you all, no more freedom, no more fear, no more fear. This is the world card, this empress card. You all have gifts to give to the world because you are now balanced out. Those energies are balanced out. You're giving, that's the masculine, and you're giving to yourself, but you're also nurturing yourself. So everything is balanced out, right? Here's a, um, here's a positive affirmation for you. I share my love freely and generously. This is you saying this to yourself. I share my love generously and freely. I uplift others through love and joy. That's what I have for you, Cancer. Yes, very short positive affirmation. You, have, you are completely balanced out. No more fear. No more doubt. No more hurt. No more pain. It is just going up, up, up from here. Living your best life. That's what I have for you, Cancers. Have a great day. Bye.